What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. Feeling good. Power pack and rock and roll. And how's everyone's weekend? It's good. It's going to be a, uh, an extended weekend for me because I work for a bank and I work banking hours. The so President's Day is definitely my day. And of course, I you know celebrate all the presidents in America. America. Yes. So, uh, very good. Hope everyone's Sunday is fantastic and hope everyone has a lovely Valentine's Day. Get, uh, watching this video, which is sweetheart, big fan. I've been getting some requests for a forklift. Um, I know that there have been a bunch of other videos from people who have done forklifts, but uh, there someone was in the comments section below and like, I want to see how you do it. I'm like, uh, okay, so I'll make a forklift. And we have a new, uh, we have a couple new things, a couple new blocks, nothing too crazy. We got horns now, her, her, we got horns, it's fantastic good stuff um, how you connect them is that you uh, just attach them to a button just like anything else I attach these bad boys here to a button and then attach that button over to the seat and now we have horns <laughs> I don't know if you can sequence them though or not I don't know let's see something here quick uh, let's put a controller over here no, that's just going to be spinning stuff then. It's not going to be honking. But whatever. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Adorable. Okay, so we have two engines in this bad boy. Six tires. Uh, one engine is to the center tires, which do not have anything moving. They are freeform. They are just basically there to stay uh, stay the course uh, then we have these wheels which are underneath underneath here let's go ahead and move you up and we have these nifty little tires so these bad boys move this does not move these bad boys move right here I knew I should put something in the center here like I did here but there's a little space there I don't want that empty space here I don't mind here that space doesn't like doesn't it, it doesn't break me you know what I mean you know what I mean okay Low. Bang. And also, made a little face, just with intricate, just a little, little things with some, uh, some, some blocks. Nothing too crazy, nothing too nutty. Just something to make it just a little bit different, going that little bit extra, extra more. And of course, since we are doing a forklift, uh, these two things are stationary. These two, they are not, and they have the same kind of system that we use for the sliding door, and also for the. Bed, uh, truck bed, truck, uh, truck. We just did. Uh, can't think of it. flatbed. The flatbed truck. Geez, super early in the morning. So let's hop in this bad boy. We hit, we hit this button. <laughs> that gives us a little horn. Uh, but then if we hit our first button, we can put it up. Now you can put a switch on this and then um, make it level. What I did was I made our own custom shelves. And of course, custom pallets too, with a pallet and surrounded by hood. And we have a couple new blocks. I think I've never seen this block, the wooden crate. I didn't even notice any update. It was like a tiny, it must have been a tiny, tiny, tiny update. So we got horns and now all the uh, blocks for the mods kind of don't work all that hot. Oh, that still work. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. What about this one? What if I want, what if I want that one? Okay, they still work. Just the uh, can't see them in the texture. So you got you got that stuff in the right hand side window now that you have. If you do have the mod that I have showcased in as a mod before, but uh, I made a custom little shelving area, and I only made the forklift to go just a slight bit above this one. If you want to add more, you can add more, but then you have to mess around with the configurations in your controller. The controller is in here, right here, and just ever so slightly, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, you have to do a little jigsaw, John. So, I started the bolt, first bearing right there at the front, second bearing is in the center, third bearing is connected right there and it lifts up and everyone's all happy about it and crap it's very good very good indeed so I only have it going to the certain height of my particular shelf now I'm pretty sure that when uh, the if you're planning on doing this in survival you're gonna be making your own custom shelves anyway so you can uh, gauge whatever you like 
Got some lights on the butt. Got butt lights. Roadhouse. All right, let's see what we can try to do here. Whoa. Uh, the two engines are set on level 4 because once this bad boy gets lifted up, there's a weight distribution issue that kind of slows everything down. To the point where, basically, like, this will lift up, and this is fine. Basically, the only thing that's keeping this level right now is those little two tiny bars at the bottom in the fork. Because right now, we're scraping. I mean, it gets it done, but I got, like, spider fingers right now. Trying to go forward with WASD. And then we're going forward. And then we're going forward. Very good. Very good. Come here. Nice. Now the tricky part. There we go. There we are. What I should do. Hmm. Huh. There, there could be a way for you if you make like a custom shelf. And you have this certain kind of shelving right here. Uh, a button is kind of like the way to go. Because uh, then you gotta just like take this. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Just take this and kind of like move it with your move it with your rig. You know what I mean? Uh, I got spider fingers. Spider finger in it right now. With holding the, the only problem is with the button, you gotta hold it in. You gotta hold it in. Like a child at an amusement park, you gotta hold it in. Do you have to go? Do you have to go potty? No. Oh, ah, there we go. Now what you can do is you can also put a controller on here, so that it can time out the lift. So one, and then after a while, it'll just take it out. But then, like you, you're basically on a timer. You know what I mean? So there, there's a little bit of a difficult issue when it comes to that. If you get my meaning here. Like if you put the button button goes to the controller this will lift it up you can touch the button and you can make it you know I can stop it right there I can stop it right there but there's no place for it to this will lift it up and above onto the pallet but then when you're trying to leave it's got some issues maybe if you put some rollers hmm like for instance on on here you could put rollers I guess I don't know no because it would still be stuck on these it would still be stuck on the girders it would, we put rollers on here and that can kind of roll it off but no nah, I don't think that's gonna work plus it's gonna make it wider and it's gonna get stuck on this because like say if I were to grab this and we grab one of these pipes here like that this thing doesn't protrude over top of this. Or does it? I don't think it does. Hold on. Nope. Yeah, see, like, it doesn't go above that. So I would have to make this wider and then have to make this be the part that rolls so that it easily can roll off but the thing is is that it's not going to roll off because it's just going to get stuck on this this joint right here so you'd have to make a different kind of custom palette just, it's just a I'll tell you what it's a giant pain in the butt because between that and trying to doing uh, trying to doing trying to doing trying to doing the weight distribution of everything on here is a mess it's just an absolute nightmare <laughs> because um, I tried taking these two bars off and then this thing just t just crazy tipped forward because of all the weight. So I have nothing but metal blocks in the butt end of this. And the only way to counteract that would to be uh, would uh, be in, like extend this extend this out with just some heavy blocks so that the weight distribution on this end works. But I like the way that this kind of you know I like the way this looks. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I got to bag it up. Yeah. So let's try this again. So I have the, the two engines on four, and it rolls around just fine. Without packages on it. I like it. It's mobile. We can make precise turns. I like that. Just when it gets to this part. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, wrong way. There we go. Alright. 
We're gonna get it. We're gonna we're gonna get it in you, girl. Um, hold on here. Um, uh, let's let's back it up. There we go. And we're in there. Come on. Oh god. <laughs> oh oh whoa 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 whoa. Okay, so let's back this up. We got we got the pallet. Now will it let it will it let us go with the pallet? I'm trying to back up. I'm trying to back up. Oh this thing's got us. Oh this thing's got us. Get off me. It's like trying to shake a bad girlfriend. Oh oh god. Run away. She's too clingy. She's too clingy. <laughs> oh silly diesel. So it kinda works for the most part. Um there are its uh, drawbacks. I mean, uh, if you are excellent as a, uh, a mover, which I am not, you can totally put it on a controller and have those timing settings, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, where you could lift it up. Whoa. Hold on. Come here. Okay. The aiming part. I always have trouble aiming. You know? Gross. Diesel. Um, let's see if we could put this in here. Snug, like a glove. We can lift it up. We can do with the controllers that you can lift it up to this particular height. <coughs> Excuse me. Lift it up to this particular height, and then after so many seconds, you can lift it just ever so slightly down, and then it'll stay there. And then you can do. It. You know what? Let's try to do that. I think we can try to do that. I think we try to do that. Hold on. Let's just keep it on there because. Getting it in there is not my problem. Leaving it up there. That's the issue. So. Alright. So then we go. It goes up 15. Up 15. We should probably just. Uh, after a little bit. Um, go. Let's go down 15. Uh, hmm. Let's go down 15. And then this is kind of funky, so let's go down. <laughs> so now what? And then. Okay. Ah, but then it goes back like that. Ew, gross. Gross. Alright. Hey, look at that! There we go. Who needs a who needs a switch? Who who needs a switch? All right. I kind of uh, I don't like the way that lowers here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Goes a little funky there. Let's see how this goes. Five is that right here? Here. Do we even need this? 15? This is how I like to test some stuff. It's easier to grab a switch. Oh, okay. Ah, obviously there. Gotcha. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> um, let's see. And I'll take this. Oops. No. No. Wrong, Diesel. Here we go. Bang. Bang. Goes up. And then it goes down. It's super not right. <laughs> oh, so this is what I do for about... this. Like, building the thing doesn't take that long. Uh, watching me build it... I know y'all are like, I want to see you build. I want to see you build one on camera. Are you sure about that? Are you really sure? It's a lot of this going. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay, so it goes up just fine, but then it kind of goes flaky on us. It's close though. 
It's almost, it's almost level. I think I, I think I missed a piece over here. Hold on. Thank you. Fifteen. Fifteen, did I? I don't think I did. Let's do seventeen, seventeen. She's only seventeen. Okay, and then it goes down. That's not correct. Goes. Uh, okay. What am I doing? Come here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. So. Let's do it. Uh, oh, hey now. Negative 13. Negative 13! I do math good. Let's see. Now. We'll raise you up. You raise me up. Oh. Okay. It's like we need one more down. Let's go to negative 12. Negative 12. Negative 12. Bang. Now it goes up. Ah, probably needs to go a little, just one more higher. Put them up, put them up, get higher, girl. It worked fine. Until we screwed with it. Let's see here. Okay, let's go back in this jaw. Just need to add one of these pieces here. Excuse me, gonna hop up on top of you. You're fancy. Like it. And then, boom, boop, boop, boop. There we go. And we're up. We're even. We're down. It's still just a little funky. It's a little uneven. So close, though. It is ever so close. Alright, we're up. And we're going to go back down. Okay. Yeah, it's still a little off. Hold on. Ten is the ticket. Ten's the t That's the ticket! It's just ever so slightly off. Ten's the ticket! Ready, set. And we'll try it again. It goes... Well, elevator goes up. Elevator goes down the hole. Alright. Okay. So let's set this bad boy up. It's gonna go down. All right, spider finger in it again. W A S D and the one key. It's a little, little arthritic. It's gonna be all right. We're gonna get through this together though. All right. It's in there. It's in there. Is it in? Is it? That's what she said. Uh, let's see here. And then it'll lift up. And we are down. All right. All right, but say if I want to lift it back up, what do you do then, Diesel? Then what do you do? I'll tell you what we do. Boom. <laughs> That's like speed lightning, but we figured it out. Ah, oh, oh goodness. Goodness me. So folks, that is our episode. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, hit like. It helps my, it helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. <laughs> Adorable.